This is the Sync EV, a small home charge point that packs a punch with a wealth of features. But is it the right product for you? Well, we'll help you decide by taking a look at how small it really is, checking the build quality and finding out how useful the app is to use. This will be a shorter review than usual, not because we're lazy, but because we know there are some big updates planned for the Sync EVs app. However, this product is in really high demand, so we just couldn't wait any longer to deliver our verdict. We'll be back with a more in-depth review later in the year, but hopefully this will help you in any decision-making process. Now, if you're looking for a home charge point for your EV, or you're looking for general electric car guides, news and advice, then be sure to visit our website. Simply search Smart Home Charge or visit smarthomecharge.co.uk and there you'll be able to browse charges, compare them side by side or get some help in choosing. And of course, you can get an installation through our experienced in-house engineers who are dotted around the country. Right, let's get into the review. So what do you need to know about this Sync EV? Well, it's one of, if not the smallest home charge point on the market right now. It's an untethered unit, which means there is no cable permanently attached. There are pros and cons to this. I personally like the cleaner look because there aren't any cables around when you're not charging your EV. But lots and lots of people find a tethered charger like the Wallbox Pulsar Plus more convenient to use because the cable is always there ready for you. It has a built-in SIM, which means it doesn't need Wi-Fi to connect to the internet. That's really useful if your home Wi-Fi is a bit ropey, although it does have it as a backup if you need it. It comes with a data plan that is free for about three years. After that, it'll set you back $9.99 for another three years. So it won't break the bank, but if you don't want to pay for it, then you can just use the backup Wi-Fi option instead. In terms of price, this is a mid-range product. So not the cheapest, but then it does offer quite a lot for the money. Starting from 589 with installation. That includes the government OZEV grant, which the Sync EV is eligible for. And it assumes that you meet the government requirements too, which you can check on our website. Sync EV claims this is the smallest home charger in the world. To be honest, I can believe it as it only measures 187 mil high by 112 mil wide and 90 mil deep. Compare that to something like the Tesla wall connector and you get a real sense of how small it is. There's a handy LED light ring which displays the charging status such as powered on, ready to charge or charging. Overall, it's a pretty unfussy design. It's basic, but that's part of the charm really. It isn't meant to stand out. The gloss black finish helps give it a smart look overall, although you will want to keep your grubby mitts off it to avoid those fingerprints. The build quality is what you'd expect at this price point. Well put together, but still plastic. You're not going to get high-end materials here like you would on an Anderson A2, which is over double the price. There's good resistance on the socket cover, which doesn't feel flimsy. And that's good because you're going to be using that rather a lot. The Sync EV also includes pen fault detection, which basically means you don't need to have an earth rod installed at your property. Now that's good because it keeps installation costs down and you don't need a great big copper rod driven into the ground at your home. The Sync EV app has what you'd expect from the modern smart home charge point. You can set up a schedule with a start and a stop time and that's handy if you have cheaper electricity prices overnight, for example. Simply set the start and stop time to coincide with the off-peak time. 
You can go one step further and set a target charge. So if you want a certain amount of energy adding to your vehicle, for example, 25 kilowatt hours, by a particular time like 7 a.m., well, you can do just that. With this setting, the Sync EV will try to meet the target within your off-peak window if you have one, but it will also charge outside this time to ensure that your target is met. Or you can strip away all those features and set the Sync EV to basic mode. So when you plug in, the car starts charging immediately and only stops when it's full or if you manually tell it to do so. In its current form, the Sync EV app isn't the nicest to look at, nor is it the easiest to navigate. But as I said earlier, there is a big update on the way. We've had a sneak peek and so far it's much easier on the eye, simpler to navigate, and there are some really, really smart features on the way. So keep a lookout for our updated review when the new app launches, but that shouldn't stop you buying the Sync EV right now because you'll automatically get those updates when they're ready. I've really enjoyed testing the Sync EV. The whole experience has been a painless one. It was easy to set up and while the app is a little fiddly at the moment, I quickly got my head around it. Sync EV also offers incredibly good customer service. Any questions I had were answered quickly and their knowledge was excellent. And this is something we know our customers have already experienced. So I wasn't just getting special treatment. So should you buy the Sync EV then? Well, yeah, I think you should. Unless you're really set on having a tethered charge point, then the Sync EV does the basics and more. It's unobtrusive, it's reliable, and it has the smart app features most people would need, plus it's set to get even better with an update in future. And if you don't want to faff around with scheduling and so on, although it's pretty easy to set up, then you can just use the plug and charge option and keep things dead simple. The one downside is the paid data plan after three years, but this is a small cost in reality. Besides, you don't even have to use it. After your free data plan is up in three years, just switch to using the Wi-Fi instead. If you're looking for something of decent quality, then there aren't many chargers that come much cheaper than this one. If you want a reliable product from a decent brand and manufacturer, then you'll be in this ballpark price-wise anyway. So, the Sync EV offers really good value. If you really want a tethered charge point, then your main options in this price bracket are the Omi and Wallbox Pulsar Plus. And you can check out our reviews of those products on our website in the banner above or by finding the link in the description below. So on to the final ratings then. Design is always subjective, but I like this a lot. I'm a big fan of the Sync EV, and if you want something small, then this is where it's at. Four out of five. The build quality is excellent for the price, but don't expect a premium feel. Four out of five again. I've had no issues with reliability whatsoever, so top marks, five out of five. The app features are easy to use, lots of features are included, and there's more on the way. Again, five out of five. In terms of user experience, it was easy to set up and painless to use. Five out of five. The customer service from Sync EV is friendly, helpful, and fast. You can't ask much more than that. Top marks once again, five out of five. I hope this review has been helpful. Remember, we test these products ourselves, but we also base our views on hundreds of comments we directly receive from real life customers who use these products day to day. So you can be sure it's not just my individual opinion you're hearing, but those of our customers. If you're researching which charger to get, make sure you check out our other product reviews or visit smarthomecharge.co.uk for further product details and advice. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up as it helps others who may be researching EVs or chargers and make sure you subscribe too so you don't miss our next video. Thanks for watching. 
See you next time.